Hi dear students, in this lecture we are going to learn a critical term ambiguity. So let's first try to understand what is the definition of ambiguity. Ambiguity is a word, phrase or statement which contains more than one meaning. Ambiguous words or statements lead to vagueness or confusion and create humor. It is an idea or situation that can be understood in more than one way. So ambiguity means in Marathi, Sandhigdapana. So this जर एखाद शब्दा मधे कि वाक्या मधे संदिग्धपण असेल तर आपण असं म्हणतो की त्या स्टेटमेंट मध्ये किंवा वर्ड मध्ये ऍम्बिग्युटी आहे और दॅट स्टेटमेंट ऑर वर्ड इज ऍम्बिग्युअस ऍम्बिग्युअस बिकॉज इट हॅज मोर दॅन वन मिनिंग्स अँड समटाइम्स बिकॉज ऑफ मोर मिनिंग्स ऑर मोर दॅन वन मिनिंग इट क्रिएट्स ह्युमर ह्युमर मीन्स यु नो विनोद निर्मिती कधी कधी अशा वाक्य आपल्याला हसवतात त्याच्यामध्ये वेगवेगळे अर्थ निर्माण होत असल्यामुळे आपल्याला हसू येत सो ऍम्बिग्युटी इज अन आयडिया ऑर सिच्युएशन विच हॅज मोर दॅन वन मिनिंग ऑर विच कॅन बी अंडरस्टूड इन मोर दॅन वन वे अँड विच विच कॅन क्रिएट ह्युमर इफ यू से दॅट देर इज ऍम्बिग्युटी इन समथिंग यू मीन दॅट इट इज अनक्लिअर ऑर कन्फ्युजिंग मीन्स the the meaning of that statement is not clear or it can be understood in more than one way and it it is an idea or situation that can be understood in more than one way i think the sentence is repeated here uh we should try to understand some of the common examples of ambiguity for example a good life depends on a liver liver the word liver in this uh, statement has two meanings a uh, liver may be an organ in our body you know in marathi what we say yakrut yakrut hmm? so uh, that liver or a liver may be a person who lives the person who lives life so liver is uh, a liver here refers to an organ or a person so a good life uh, depends on the uh, how how liver works means if the liver works well it is in good condition then a life is safe or that person lives a good life or uh, if the way of living of that person is good if a liver means a person who lives life and his way of life that is jagnachi paddhat jar changli asel then uh, he, it makes his life good so a good life depends on a liver has uh, these two meanings now another example uh, foreigners are hunting dogs in this statement hunting is uh, is a word uh, which has more than one meaning or two meanings uh, this sentence may mean that the foreigners means the people who are foreigners you know uh, pardeshi vyakti what is a foreigners foreigners are hunting dogs means foreign are hunting hunt means shikar karne so foreigners are hunting are hunting manje shikar karat ahet so foreigners are hunting dogs manje foreigners kutryanchi shikar karat ahet this is one meaning another is that foreigners are hunting dogs means foreigners are called as hunting dogs manje they they are called they are they themselves are hunting dogs means foreigners are here referred to as are described as hunting shikari kutre so foreigners are called as here you know in derogatory sense uh, foreigners la ithe shikari kutre asa sambodhnat alela ahe so these are the two meanings in the another example the passer by helped dog bite victim in this statement the passer by means you know the, the person who is walking on the road uh, that person is called as passer by that the person helped the passer by helped passer by ne madad keli dog dog la madad keli bite victim to bite victim so passer by helped the dog um, maybe uh, he uh, encouraged the dog to bite a person or someone and another meaning is that the passer by helped dog victim dog bite victim dog bite victim means 
the person who is bitten by dog that is dog by victim mhanje jala kutra chavla ahe to person that is dog bite victim so here uh, ya rastyavarun challagya mansane kutryala madat keli kutryala dusrya vyaktila chavnyasathi madat keli kima tya kutryala dusrya vyaktila chavnyasathi prerit kela and another meaning is that Uh, the passer by the passer by me or the rastyavar chalnarya mansane jala dog chavla ahe asha mansala madat kele so the two meanings here are refer to that the passer by helped uh, dog or the person who has been bitten by dog uh, in the uh, so meaning is not clear either you take this meaning or that meaning in the next sentence or statement i went out in the woods and found a bat Uh, here again, the meaning is not clear. I went out in the woods, means me jungleat gelo, and found a bat, means me bat pahili. Now bat here may mean an animal. You no, know, you find it's uh, it ha it hangs him uh, itself up or down. No, asa ulta tangle la what pagul je zada la as ulta ulta tang nara sota la asa jo pakshya hai that is called as Uh, bat in english what about going in marathi so and one another bat you very well know that is uh, an object an object for uh, playing cricket that wooden object that is that can also be a bat so it is not clear that i uh, what i found actually in this statement uh, what the person or what i found it may be a bat or animal or it may be an object um, used for playing cricket so in this way we can find two meanings here is very interesting example one more example uh, the image uh, you can uh, in this image you can find that is the dialogue between two persons the man says call me a taxi please the man is telling the woman uh, or asking the woman call me a taxi please and the woman says woman doesn't get the meaning of that Uh, what the man says, and she says, "You want me to get you a taxi, or uh, tell you, you are uh, tell you you are a taxi. Call me a taxi may mean, माझे साथी taxi बोलो कि मुआ माला taxi मन. Call me a taxi. माला taxi मन. Call मंजे मन ने. अशा अर्थाने call मंजे बोला उन्हें. So here, double meaning is created due to the due to the word call. So in this way, ambiguity is created. It's very interesting example of ambiguity. Uh, now we shall try to understand some of the examples from literature uh, about ambiguity. Uh, although ambiguity is considered as a flaw in writing, many writers use this technique to allow readers to understand their works in a variety of ways, giving them depth and complexity. And sometimes uh, ambiguity is considered as a flaw flaw means an error or a mistake uh, made in writing but writer purposefully uh, purposefully use uh, ambiguity intentionally use ambiguity because they want to create uh, a variety of meanings or you know complexity of meanings and uh, the work which has complexity or variety of meaning is actually it becomes very interesting due to the double layers or the many layer, layers of meaning and it creates also the depth uh, depth of me, uh, meaning and uh, maybe the writer wants to uh, give the reader scope to um, understand the thing in various ways or understand the meanings in various ways Uh, here is one very very interesting example from the poem the sick rose uh, written by william blake william blake a very uh, famous poet a romantic poet and uh, he says o rose thou art sick the invisible worm that flies in the night in the howling storm has found out thy bed of uh, dreams and joy and his dark secret love does thy life destroy now in this poem there are uh, many words uh, which have double or many uh, more meanings uh, when we read these lines uh, 
the first meaning is created in our mind is that a rose here uh, you know a flower the poet is addressing to rose means uh, in one meaning we can say that the poet is addressing to a rose poet te gulabacha phulala rose la uddeshun kay mante baba thou art sick 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 has also here uh, different meanings uh, here uh, in case of rose uh, the word sick has uh, the meaning like you know gulabacha je phul ahe te sick banlela ahe means here komej lela ahe सुकलेला आहे गुलाबाचं फुल तर वाय बिकॉज द इनव्हिजिबल वर्म इनव्हिजिबल मीन्स अदृश्य वर्म मीन्स अन इन्सेक्ट अ टाईप ऑफ वर्म यु नो कीटक दॅट फ्लाय इज इन द नाईट फ्लायिंग इन द नाईट मीन्स इट वाय इट इज इनव्हिजिबल बिकॉज यु नो इन द नाईट इट्स फ्लायिंग इन द नाईट अँड इट्स नॉट सीन बिकॉज ऑफ द डार्कनेस अँड इन द हावलिंग स्टॉम in the night um, particular night when the storm is howling or you know the wind is howling howling means you know a type of wailing sound means vara sutlela ani vara se prakar sa awaz gungavnara vara cha jo awaz ahe to yet ahe and in such a situation that worm which is flying in the night uh, in the howling storm has found out thy bread of crimson crimson joy here crimson means red color and uh, bed of crimson joy means the plot where many flowers are there or the plants of roses are there that plot means ashe phule khup asleli ji jaga ahe that wafa jala mune apan that place is mentioned here maybe and that worm is attracted to that bed of crimson joy and he um maybe because of that rose has been infected by the worm and it has become sick means rose has got a type of disease the kitaka mule kadachit tya rose var tya phula var kaitri azar padlela ahe tya phula la azar jadlela ahe tya mule kadachit te phula phul phul suklela ahe so this may be the meaning and uh, in the next line the poet says and his dark secret love does thy light destroy and because of that um, that worm particularly uh, who secretly attacks or secretly uh, goes to the rose and you know creates infection maybe uh, because of that the rose has become sick and because of that rose has been destroyed because of by that worm so this is the one meaning but in another meaning we shall uh, try to find that uh, the r here is used as in capital and because of that it may mean the woman or the female uh, whom the poet loves his beloved and he says his beloved is uh, thou thou means here you thou art you are sick means his beloved has become sick or you may be uh, she is uh, you know seduced by some person she has been destroyed um, or deceived by some person so and that that person is here Uh, mentioned as invisible worm and that flies in the night in the howling storm has found out thy bed of crim- crimson joy maybe here the bed of crimson joy uh, refers to the uh, place um, where the couple sleeps and that person has made love to this beloved and because of that and because of his dark secret love her life has been destroyed and that is the reason that the poet has been separated from his beloved so uh in these lines we can find many words are used in uh, double meaning or they show ambiguity so we cannot say for sure that be, what bed of crimson joy means neither uh, can we be exact about the interpretation of dark secret love and the ambiguous nature of such phrases allows readers to explore for deeper meaning of the poem so the outward meaning is different and the meaning another meaning which is a deeper meaning can be found due to the ambiguous use of the words so some of those who have analyzed this poem believe that uh, the line has found out that bed of crimson joy refers to making love that woman or that beloved of the poet has made love to another person or that person has made love to her and he has destroyed her life so in this way we find the meaning 
in the poem. Uh, another example of ambiguity in literature is uh, from the poem Ode to Aggression Earn, written by John Keats. Again, uh, one more romantic poet, John Keats. And we find ambiguity in the first line of uh, Keats' poem Ode to Aggression Earn. Uh, Thou still unravished bride of quietness. Here, unravished means no, uh, not seduced, the pure virgin bride. Navabadu, ji pure So no one has touched her. And she uh, now she just married. Navabadu. And before ha has her marriage, she has been very pure, a virgin. That is, no one has touched her. And poet says, Thou, but poet uses this word unravished bride of quietness. Um, for aggression, urn. Urn means you know a pot on which a very beautiful design had been carved. That beautiful um, pot has been called here urn. And uh, thou still, still here the word still has two meanings. It may mean that uh, un unmoving or unmovable object, which can which is not moving, is still in the and uh, another meaning of still is yet unchanged, means not changed or pure, or uh, uh, is in its virgin condition. So uh, we can find the double meaning of the word still uh, as a unmoving object and uh, as a not changed. So this is the uh, meaning which creates uh, you know interest or it gives us uh, scope to understand the depth of meaning from these examples we can understand the function of ambiguity ambiguity in literature serves the purpose of lending a deeper meaning to a literary work so ambiguity provides deep meaning to a literary work or it creates a deep meaning or complexity of meaning or layers of meaning in a literary work uh, next by uh, introducing ambiguity in their works Writers give liberty to readers to use their imagination to explore meanings. This writer uh, wants to give scope or liberty to the readers uh, to use their imagination. The re readers imagine and uh, imagine the meaning in another way or they, with their imagination they explore the layers of meaning or the depth of meaning um, in the lines or in the text. Uh, and the next function is this active participation of the readers involves them in the prose or poetry they read. So because of, because the readers imagine a lot of things, they create many meanings in the uh, text. Uh, readers actively participate in creating the meaning of the text, and uh, they uh, they are actively involved or uh, uh, participate in the creation of meanings of particular text, particular prose or poetry they read. And uh, it's very interesting uh, to create meanings um, in the text we read. Actually, uh, only reading the text uh, plainly without uh, creating meaning uh, is a boring thing. But when we try to understand the meaning or various meanings uh, hidden in the text by uh, created by, by using the such type of literary devices uh, like uh, you know as far as we have seen um, imagery or simile or paradox and here ambiguity so all these literary devices are used by the writers to uh, create a deep meaning or interest in the text and uh, ambiguity is also a very important tool for the writers for creating such meaning in the text so let's stop here and we'll try to understand the last remaining critical term in the next lecture